You've probably had beef filet mignon grilled in bacon. This morning, we scored some super fresh albacore tuna. I give you a project smoke first, filet mignon of the sea. It starts with a beautiful albacore tuna loin, weighs about a pound and a half. Season on all sides with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Next, I'll squeeze fresh lemon juice over the albacore, and I squeeze it through my fingers to catch any seeds. Then a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And that's all the seasoning I'll use on the fish. When fish is this fresh, you want to keep the seasonings simple. Now I've cut four lengths of butcher string arranged in parallel rows. And I'll lay one strip of bacon perpendicular to the strings and then place the albacore loin on top of the bacon. Next, take another strip of bacon, lay it on one side, and third strip, lay it on the other side. Now bring the strings together, loop once and twice, pull tight to seal, loop through again, and tie off the bacon. And that second loop locks the string in place so you can pull it tight and tie it off. Then simply grab kitchen scissors and trim off the excess string. Then return the albacore filet to the pan over ice. So now the sauce. It's a riff on a classic French Bernays sauce. We'll start by melting butter in a saucepan and adding finely chopped shallots. At the same time, one tablespoon of cracked black peppercorn. That'll reinforce the pepper flavor on the albacore fillets. Next, add about a quarter of a cup of cognac, bring it to a boil, and for heightened drama and to get rid of the excess alcohol flavor, you can tip it to flambe the cognac. Next, dry white wine. Boil the wine until reduced by half. Then add heavy cream. and Dijon mustard. And we can add a little salt and a little pepper. Once the sauce comes to a boil, reduce the heat and gently simmer until thick and creamy. Meanwhile, let me show you the grill. To cook the albacore filet mignons, I'm using an art flame grill. It's a combination wood burning grill and plancha plancha being a fire heated griddle. To fire it up, you start with a couple chimneys of lit charcoal, and then add logs to the fire, and these logs are going to generate a great smoke flavor. So once the wood is in, place the grate on the grill. How do you know when the grill is hot enough for grilling? Well, you can drop a few drops of water on the plancha part, and if they evaporate instantly, you're in business. Or you can go high-tech with this point-and-shoot laser thermometer. 375 degrees, right where you want to be. And like a conventional grill, you oil the plancha and the grate with a grill oiler drawn across the surface. And don't forget to oil the bars of the grate. So take one of the bacon-wrapped albacore fillets and place it on the plancha. I like to start fish on the plancha to firm it up and then finish it directly over the wood fire. This is really a quick sear on each side. When albacore is this fresh, you don't want to overcook it. Once the bacon and fish are browned on the bottom, just do a third of a turn and look at that. No sticking whatsoever. You can smell the smokiness of the bacon. And then we'll turn it once more and sear the other side. Then the last thing you want to do is move the albacore directly over the wood fire. And that's how you'll reinforce the smoke flavor. Give it another turn. Once the fish is seared and smoked, 
transfer it to a wire rack over a sheet pan. So let the albacore rest a minute before you carve it and finish up the sauce. You can see the cream and wine have reduced nicely. Add finely chopped fresh tarragon and a few drops of fresh lemon juice. Give it a whisk and you're in business with your sauce. Take one of the bacon wrapped albacore loin and snip off the strings. And then cut the albacore crosswise. Oh, look at that. Nice smoky sear on the outside and the fish is beautifully rare in the center. Just fan the albacore slices in a circle. And here's your last medallion. The fish is so beautiful this way, I like to put the sauce on the platter, not over the fish. Mm. And finally, just a sprig of tarragon. Here you go, your bacon wrapped albacore filet mignon with pepper sauce. Let's see how we did. And a little more sauce. Mm. Wow, this is really amazing. The fish is fresh, sushi quality in the center, that nice bacon sear, and you've got the licorice from the tarragon and tartness from the sauce. This is a great steak from the sea.